So since we're going to start looking at angles now, it's going to be important for us to know what a vertex is. And a vertex is a point where two rays meet. So if you look at the angle below, that red dot, or the spot where the two rays meet, that would be called a vertex. Adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are angles that share a common vertex, a common side, and do not overlap. So the adjacent angle pairs in this picture would be angles 1 and 2, angles 2 and 3, angles 3 and 4, and angles 4 and 1. We can tell that angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent angles because they share a common vertex, they share a common side, and they do not overlap. So notice when I shade in those angles, they do not overlap at all. Which pair of angles below are not adjacent angles? I would recommend you pause the video now and resume when you're ready to see if your solution is correct. All right, out of these angle pairs, angle six and angle three are not going to be adjacent angles. If you look at those angles, we can tell because they do not share a common side. Congruent angles. Congruent angles are angles that have the same degree of measure. So angle one and angle two are congruent angles because they are both 55 degrees. Vertical angles. Vertical angles are opposite angles formed by intersecting lines. Vertical angles will always have the same degree of measure, which means they are congruent angles. So the vertical angle pairs in this picture would be angles 1 and angle 3, and then angle 2 and angle 4. We can tell angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical angles because they are opposite of one another. So if angle one was 30 degrees, that also means angle three would be 30 degrees as well, because vertical angles always have the same degree of measure. So now I want you to try. Using that information about vertical angles, I want you to determine the angle measures of the missing angles X and Y. I would recommend you pause the video now and resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. All right, let's take a look. So the bottom angle, which was angle X, is going to be equal to 140 degrees. And angle Y, or the angle on the right, is equal to 40 degrees. We know that these are the angle measures because these are vertical angles. Notice the 40 degrees is opposite of the 40 degrees, and the 140 degrees is opposite of the 140 degrees. This is one example how we can find missing angles using vertical angles. Thank you for watching.